A few years ago, I was working in Bray County Wicklow as a youth worker. The rector there is a huge Narnia fan and the parish had previously ran a very successful Narnia festival. While I was working there, the decision was made to run a second Narnia festival, this time turning the church into the voyage of the Dawn Treader. We went all out with a ship at the back of the church, a fully functioning waterfall at the front and even a dragon with steam coming out of his nostrils. It was amazing. But with all these things in the church, you might be surprised to hear that my favourite part were four large paintings done by a local artist called Darren Nesbitt. These paintings showed the temptations of Jesus, which I will now read from Luke chapter 4. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the River Jordan. The Spirit led him into the desert. There the devil tempted him for 40 days. Jesus ate nothing during that time. At the end of the 40 days, he was hungry. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man must not live only on bread. Then the devil led Jesus up to a high place. In an instant, he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. He said to Jesus, I will give you all their authority and glory. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Then the devil led Jesus to Jerusalem. He had Jesus stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. It is written, the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. Jesus answered, scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. When the devil finished all this tempting, he left Jesus until a better time. The fourth image that Darren created is a haunting image of Jesus on the cross. Each day we took tours around Narnia and ended up looking at these astounding images and explaining why they were there. C.S. Lewis uses Narnia to explain different parts of Christianity. The John Treader focuses on temptation. All of the characters face temptation at some point in the story. Some are able to resist with the help of Aslan. Others remember previous lessons and yet some give in and have to deal with the consequences of their actions. Today is Ash Wednesday, which is the start of Lent, a time of preparation for Easter. For some, Lent is a time to give things up, to try and resist the temptations that we face in everyday life in a different way. Others will take up a new challenge like reading the Bible every day or something similar. For Lent 2021, we want people to spend time journeying to the cross, both physically as part of their daily exercise, but also spiritually as we learn about different journeys that Jesus took in the Gospels. Jesus took intentional journeys a lot of the time. Jesus intentionally went into the desert with the Holy Spirit and was tempted and was able to resist because he had the word of God. He was able to use that to stop the devil in, the track, in his tracks. Jesus knew that by saying no, by not giving in to these temptations, what was going to happen. He knew that he was going to keep going and keep travelling to the cross. So as we enter at Lent 2021, let us journey to the cross together.